bit later than I wanted to, but uh, should be fine anyway. Yeah. Um, we've we've got um, our usual format. I will play. Actually, let's do some hand and brain today. I could do some hand and brain. We'll start out with some hand and brain, which means we're going to need. We'll repeat this again in a minute, but we're going to need um, five minute unrated, and um, we'll get wait a minute and wait for people to even know we're streaming. There's um, a big event today, the Pog Champs. That might have ended already, though. One can only hope. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't see that that's going anymore. It's funny because uh, Hafu threw, threw a little shade at XQC today. Oh, I didn't know about that. And they even called her out on it. Why don't it. you dish? She dish backed it, it off. Yeah. I was cooking dinner, so I kind of had the computer going... She says, well, no, like, I haven't really interacted with XQC. And then I missed some of what she said, but something about if he didn't, she hoped he'd be nice to her. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Bishop Takes. Hey, Squire. But then if he was, and it didn't matter anyway. And then that's when they said, oh, we're throwing a little shade. So she had some explanation. <laughs> hey, Kangaroo, of what she meant, but I didn't hear it. Hi, Alice. And then it was funny because they were talking about XQC <laughs> called um, Pac-Man by the wrong first name. Oh, instead David, of David Pacman, I don't know what maybe the name. like Daniel. No, what, it wasn't. Oh. It wasn't even a D word. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> so I didn't see it, but I, I laughed when I heard that because it it seems in keeping with at least his persona. But he couldn't even be bothered to know his, Ruth his opponent's <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, it's GM Benjamin Feingold. Hey, GM Benjamin Feingold. So it was funny. Hey, Aussie Kitty. Um, so I thought that was amusing. But um, it's Hafu has just won all of her games. Nice. And I, you know, I like Hafu and I want her to win. But I did feel like they were, Bonarici was actually correct. I can't even believe because I was telling Spencer I thought he was exaggerating. But they were, you know, oh, brilliant games. Hafu needs to be on Olympiad. And I was like, all right. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Olympiad level play. <laughs> But um, I do appreciate the fact that they were trying to be positive. Oh, Olbin died. Dang. Yeah. I heard of him. Mm -hmm. The but. commentary is the worst, says Kangaroo. I was just really, um, unless I misunderstood, I think they were saying Hafu should be playing for the Olympiad. You know, I'm sorry. That's insulting. You know. <laughs> yeah, to the Olympiad. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I think it's certainly valid to say that she has worked really hard and has some natural talent for it. And if she works a little bit harder, she could be a good player. Hey, Nuranonim. Hey, I'm a new one. <laughs> We're going to start out today with some um, hand and brain. So send us a challenge, five-minute unrated. Mm -hmm. Five-minute unrated. I'll let you drive this time. Awesome. Because I think I drove last time. Oh, and we have a mouse pad? Yeah. It's the best time. Yeah, that was, something was bothering me. I'm still obsessing a little bit about my skirt. That's not going to come out. Dang. Darn. That's sad. I got grease on, true. <laughs> I got grease on my skirt when I was cooking, so I'm still mad about it because it probably ruined my skirt anyway Nur says it really sucks I can't really watch your stream see Ozzy understands <laughs> I can't really watch your streams recently and from September on it will only get worse dang that's too bad Nur hey no, man no. moth why why is that Nur no no yours are you a student probably I'm busy schools for losers everybody <laughs> knows that <laughs> <laughs> I'm a loser, baby. La da 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 da. <laughs> Classic back. Um, you know, it's, you're not a loser if you're a student. I feel like I'm too low, but I'm higher up than you, aren't I? I suppose that's true. I think I need to raise it up a little. How do you raise it up? Do you know? There's a little, you know, normal thing on the bottom that you press. Oh, I went lower. But you got to stand up. Okay. Who needs studying when you can watch chess streams? That's right. Prez says oh, yeah, school really is for tall. losers. I'm too tall. Okay, wait. Now you're too tall. You gotta be like Goldilocks. Wait, where's the thing? There it is. Oh. Yeah. Boop. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Last year in high school. That's pretty exciting. I remember mm. uh, I didn't really attend much school for my senior year of high school. But that's just me personally. Yeah, I went. You know, I did get in trouble for um, skipping first period class, which was advanced skipping biology. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was boring, and I had an A in there. And uh, Mrs. Hicks was her name, and I skipped first period. You know, you know, as naughty we'll say, and leave it at that. Went with my stepbrother hanging out with other teens, and then we'd come in for second period. And so I worked part-time for my stepdad, who was a dentist. I did their dental insurance, so had access to the prescription pads. So I wrote fake excuses on the days that I was late and said I was, at, <laughs> I was at the dentist. So all the time at the dentist. <laughs> so meanwhile, meanwhile, I was also an office aide in sixth period. And by happenstance, the assistant principal, who I knew all the office, I knew all the school staff, was Coach Hicks, Mrs. Hicks' husband, also a teacher at the school. What a bunch of Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> and he called me to the office. Uh, one day, and he said, Boyd, get in here. Uh, Uh-oh, it can't be good. And I went in there, like, yeah. And he had the stack of all my excuses (laughs) (laughs) in my handwriting. Mm -hmm. And said, uh, and he'd actually called the office to check on them. And the um, the two elderly ladies that worked the front desk lied for me i couldn't nice. even believe it they were like but he still didn't believe church it. ladies oh he knew he knew Dang. he knew what was up he's hey like, cl smith hey cl smith he's like boyd you you miss one more day of school and, and you i'll won't, wag my finger at you and you won't graduate <laughs> what well you that can't sound right you can't miss i'd miss 19 and this was just in one semester of um, advanced biology. Mm-hmm. I had an I made an A in the class. I mean, but she was probably pissed because I didn't have to come to her class and I still had an A. All right. <laughs> I mean, it was hey frap Alabama schools. Anyway, that's the end of my story. Didn't mean to go on and on. Hi frap. And Ovi's here. And the, oh, what we got yeah. a challenge, oh, so let's, we're uh, ready. Let's go for it. Huh? Hey, chest with Ovi, Ovi, and um, um. Skinnerish and Ozzy Kitty, hang on. They pulled me to the office my senior year, and they were like, Ozzy, you have 237 tardies. See, she had the same thing happen. <laughs> we could technically expel you. You have more tardies than days in the school year. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of tardies. <laughs> yeah, C.L. Smith knows what I'm talking about. You know, you don't have to go to class there. I mean, I had all A's. Come on. But anyway, they, lo- they secretly loved me, I think. Because he always called me Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> but let's play some chess. We're going to do some hand and brain now. All right, let's now. play Nura We got it. I'm I'm going to be the brain. Pawn. Sounds like we have no sound. Oh, oh, we got it. It just <laughs> didn't go click when we accepted. Yeah. Come on, Nura Hey, Pam, how's it going? Don't quit on us before you have to go to school. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Bishop. Yeah, I like that. Doc. Um, nice. Frap's hosting us. Thank you for hosting, Frap. Um, pawn. Knight. Knight. There's nothing wrong with... Oh, okay. Let me go there. <laughs> Uh-uh. Pawn. Bishop. Um. Bishop. Night. Let's 
Somehow we're behind on time. <laughs> Just a little, though. All right, I need to, to check. Oh, okay, hang on. Um... Let's see. Um, pawn. Let me show what's my move. Is that what I would have done? <laughs> oh, I see a better move. <laughs> <laughs> Loser, baby. I am Ben's son, that's true. As far as I know. Um, Bishop. Knight. but not George Benson. That's true. I'd only be George Benson if George Foreman was my dad. Because he names all his sons George. Knight. Who, who does? George Foreman. Oh, George Foreman. What is the best way to handle the situation? <laughs> Night. And his daughters, too. <laughs> yeah. Extra pawn, what else? <laughs> Uh, queen. King. Go us. We're doing great. King. Always do that. <laughs> Doesn't even have bishops pair, just one bishop. Hardly a pair. Silent night move, but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how come it only sometimes makes noise? I don't know. It's very disconcerting. It is. It's well, it's a little disconcerting. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite Pam, too, of all the Pams I know. Well, I don't know, actually, maybe the uh, the Pam from Archer is pretty good. But she's imaginary, so. Not really imaginary, but not real. <laughs> you can be neither imaginary nor real. Who says you can't? Um, Pawn. Night. It's pretty close on time, but make sure we, we keep speeding it up. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, queen. 
Good choice. Really good choice there. Mm -hmm. I tried. I tried so hard and got so far. Classic Linkin Park, I think. No, really, I was thinking of a different song. I tried so hard, my dear, to show that you belong to me. I don't know that one. <laughs> Sounds better than the one, the Linkin Park <laughs> one, though. I think it's Hank Williams originally. Uh, let's see. I know that I need to go a little faster, but um, I'm struggling, so I'm just going to say pawn because I don't have anything better to say. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I'd rather do that than just sit here trying to think of a minute. Right. That's the right attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, rook. You gotta play something, MG Weirdo. Pawn. Um, uh -oh. uh, queen. Not a great position. <laughs> mm -mm. Not the best position I've ever had. No. Not looking good. Uh, King. And we only have 38 seconds. That's true. Uh, King. King. Queen. This isn't looking good, King. Um, no, King. Pawn. Queen. Oh. All right, go ahead, just go. <laughs> See if you can pull it out. Just like at the movie theater. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, that was a few trauma quote. Oh. Go, Spencer. It'll be tough, but it's how it is sometimes. Mm. Never heard of the Jinji Indian, me neither. Thy sovereign. Uh. I think I shall have Fry's lower horn. Yeah, that's what it was. Jerked. <laughs> Sure, cold, cold heart. You ever heard that before? No. I'm so sad. Uh -oh. Dang, we didn't have enough time, but yeah. I almost brought it back there. I know, I saw. I'm sorry that I'm so Tough slow. but fair. Good game, though. Hi, Fortuna. Oh, yeah, the kangaroo knows. Named after Roman Gingy, Gingy Hashvili. Did I say it right? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> good game. Not too good, though, says Nerd. <laughs> hey, good enough. You That's won. <laughs> How about we play SM Roz? Definitely. We, should I drive this time? Okay. Yeah. It's a, I know we do wor even worse like when I'm driving, but nonetheless, is it a f Yeah, it's a five. Pawn. 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 <laughs> That's a pawn. That's how you do it. Queen.
clean. Queen. I only know how to move pawns and queens. That's how it is. Knight. Knight. We're doing great. <laughs> Same time, too. Mm -hmm. Bishop. Queen. Behold the pale horse. King. I've been played some Genji ish. <laughs> Neuronum says chess, chess com analysis after that game says you better quit chess. Pawn. Simple. <clears throat> I don't know which pawn. Mm, I don't want that one. But I don't know which one. It's okay. <laughs> Night. Bishop. Pawn. I thought that might have been the one before, but I... Th yeah, to protect the pawn that he just took. I thought it was double... Double attacked. Um, well, we had it defended twice. We had I thought it on c6 and bishop on d6. I thought the queen was attacking it. And we had it defended twice. Um, I I thought it w we were out. I just didn't see it. I thought that if I moved it, it wouldn't help it. Bishop. We can look at it after then. Queen. Queen.
talks about a sick horse. I was the hand Nur Nonum. That's why at the end of the game it was close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pawn. Bishop. We got a lot of time. We're doing great. Rook. Thanks, Bobby Helms. It's about time somebody noticed. What'd they say? I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Rook. Karen is turning into a beast. Spencer is too good of a coach. <laughs> Both those things are true. Hey, Andy, 4550. Night. Bishop. Rook. Pawn. Bishop. Queen. Bishop. Queen. Rook. Queen. Rook. Nice. <laughs> you were wondering if I was gonna see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have. We could have played Queen F one first, but I didn't see it. Oh. So I had to play Rook D1 check, then Queen F1. Mm. <laughs> Good game. Good game, SM Rosny. Yeah, it was, you were too low on time, SM Rosny. Obviously, you wouldn't have hung mate otherwise. Yeah, man, we were low on time too. That's true. Mm -hmm. Thank but you, yeah, CL Smith. you can defend it. It's just too defending. All right, let me just look here. This is, I, I have a hard time with something simple like this because even now you're telling me that. Oh, okay, the bishop. Um, yeah, I just couldn't see that I had, um, you know, quickly. I was trying to hurry because I thought that's what you would want, but then I didn't think about the bishop. Darn. Yeah, you got, just got two defending it and two attacking it. I just it. couldn't see it. And quickly. I saw that they had two, I thought I only had one. Also I want you to like develop your pieces. Not not move there. 
I like developing the pieces. But then you did that, that was good. But then here are pawns hanging, so I wanted you to trade queens mm. and then defend it. Well, maybe this is annoying, though. Didn't really look at that. But anyways, uh, we won on time, basically, so good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is hard for me to do. <laughs> True. That looked like a puzzle you were just doing, Pam. Oh, yeah, with queen f1 there at the end. That was mm -hmm. pretty good. Hey, I did do well yesterday, kangaroo. In one of my games I lost, I was in the kitchen eating. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came to the snack. board. I'm like, oh, crap. I had like two minutes left in the five-minute game. So I didn't win that one. And then Puzzle Pawn took me down. Dang. Come I'm, on, Puzzle Pawn. I know that person in real life, so, you know, I wasn't going to beat Puzzle Pawn. <laughs> And then, yes, I was happy. I think I beat you. <laughs> That's vague. I just, I get it all confused with who, who beats whom. <laughs> Beating people without paying attention. <laughs> uh, stepson, so cool still. <laughs> That's true. One uh, stepson at a time. <laughs> Karen, do you know when the signed copies? Yeah, that's something we have to do. I'm sorry that we had never followed up with it. We have all the copies, and we have the envelopes to mail them out. Usually we don't send the merch out ourselves, but this time we will. And the last step is we have to get the books onto the Amazon store. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is our merch uses Shopify, and Shopify has all these different plugins so that allows us to have more variety in products should I ever get the time to actually add the variety. <laughs> That's true. But anyway, we can use the Amazon plugin and and have it all tied into Shopify. I know that's more detail than you want, but that's the hold up. You know, we just we gotta do that last step. You tried to do the account, we need to sit together, right? Right, we need to know I need to know the like, information that I yeah. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like probably a thirty minute task. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that Friday. We could do that R Friday. Remind me, we'll do that Friday. Okay, so in answer to that question, hey, Martin C. Um, yeah, you know, Archer might return to the stream at some point. Um, he hasn't wanted to lately, but if he wants to, he can. Um, <laughs> well, it won't really be from Amazon, Kangaroo. Um, we're just using the plug-in to manage the orders, but we'll still actually have to fulfill those ourselves. So it won't actually come from Amazon. So that being said, all the copies will be autographed and we can definitely put a little personal note in there from Ben because we're sending them out. So that's actually a good idea. I hadn't even thought about all that. Yeah, he can write to eBay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a great idea. I actually didn't get that far in my thinking. But, yeah, we, we're going to use Amazon to manage the orders via Shopify. Anyway, we'll get it done. I'm sorry. I just have so much stuff I'm doing. Hey, Nisannel. I'm doing well. <laughs> now, before we start our lesson today, mm -hmm. I do have one quick thing I need to read. Yes. <laughs> hmm. um, I'm not sure what that means. So, okay, I guess that's for later. <laughs> <laughs> right, when we can decipher it. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we had to read something. Our something not crazy. <laughs> 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 Except for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, A, B, sequence. <laughs> Um, kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, they're not complaining about you this time. <laughs> um, ideas for next Halloween. <laughs> ben and Spence dress up, dress up as bishops and Karen as Vatels. <laughs> we love you too, Pam, and we're hardly drunk at all. <laughs> I haven't been drunk, you know, I've been drunk twice. No, that's not even true. <laughs> so I said twice in the last five years, but that's not true at all. So never I thought mind. I was going to say the last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> anyway, all right, let's start the lesson. <laughs> but yeah, all you're right. you're all good, Kangaroo. It's not you at all. <laughs> so we'll look at a couple of games in the Jinji Indian. I've played that quite a bit uh, myself with Black in mostly for fun games, but a couple tournament games, not t with terrible results. But most of the time, people avoid going into the Jinji Indian because white has to be pretty cooperative in order to get into it. You mm. know, like some openings are like that. Yeah. Like a Nimzo Indian is kind of like that, mm -hmm. too. A lot of times, white avoids a Nimzo Indian, for example. Or, uh, you know, main lines of, you know, like the Night Orf, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to get into the Night Orf if the opponent just does a weird thing. Right. So that's one problem with the Jinji Indian. But uh, Grandmaster Ron Henley, not to be confused with Don Henley, <laughs> <laughs> he swears by the Jinji and he loves it. He's mm. like, I love the Jinji Indian. Um, it's not so bad. It's uh, definitely got some downsides, though. And it's it's pretty close to losing by force. But it's still very interesting, and I think uh, it, it's you know pretty fun to look at. So we'll take a look at this first game. It's some guy against Robert Hess. Did you know Robert Hess's middle name is Lee? Like Robert E. Lee. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Well, at least according to I, Chess Base. I wonder if he was named after I would Robert E. Lee. <laughs> I would hope not either. I wouldn't think Hello. so. Hello. Do you have the money for the straw? Can you get it from the cash register this time? And I want a Coke with the straw in the can. <laughs> I don't like fountain sodas. So here's the first step obviously it's again it's like a d4 opening so they have to play d4 c4 but also they have to play knight c3 and then even after c5 they've got to push it which is the best move and then now we're in a gingy indian check i mean because they're probably going to take back mm -hmm. and then f5 so we've given up the bishop pair to double up the pawns and they're really bad pawns like, they're really bad doubled pawns. They're very weak. They can't be defended by the D-pawn or the B-pawn because, you know, this is the B-pawn now. So they're about as bad as double pawns can get. But Black did give up basically the best bishop that he's got. And Black also has a lot less space in the center. And Black's king is pretty weak. F5 is an important move, though, to control E4. Sometimes people still just play E4 to hang it and then sack a pawn with E4 and F3. That's a, a way to play. I don't know if that's necessarily the best way to play. Uh, most people play the move that white played here, h4. h4. And I've actually faced this myself um, in a tournament game against, it might have been Caleb Denby. It might not have been, <laughs> but I think it was <laughs> Caleb Denby. And most people play knight f6 here, which is what Robert Hess played. I actually played queen a5 against Caleb, which is the second most common move. And uh, he played bishop d2, which is terrible. Caleb, is he, he's a St. Louis guy, right? Yeah. Okay, I've met him. Bishop d2 is too passive. Then I was equal. Then I was better. Then I was winning. Then I couldn't win, so he drew, unfortunately for me. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot like a Dutch. It's like a Dutch and a Benoni and a Nimzo Indian all at one. So it's like several openings put together. And so it allows for a lot of creative play. H4 makes a lot of sense because they're trying to play H5 and take, obviously, frankly. So knight f6, h5, and rook g8. This is like the, the main line, I guess, <laughs> if you can call it that. Now, wait, go back one. Sure. This One more or no? That... Okay. You're probably wondering about knight takes pawn, huh? Also, yeah, that was my question. Mm -hmm. So why didn't they go knight takes pawn? Well, knight takes pawn is uh, the idea. It might not be bad, but it might be losing. <laughs> the idea is that White's gonna take here and play e4 one or both at a time. I don't know which one first. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe this first. And then here. So this is the point. They're going to like take your pawn and your king is pretty exposed. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get their knight up in there. Pam asks, how can I remember all those openings? I'm just lucky, I guess. <laughs> he studied them a lot. Thank you trying not to learn. <laughs> 
I was playing well last night for some reason. Yeah, you were crushing it. In the I mean, tournaments. I was. I, the games were horrible. I feel. I mean, I was like hanging pieces. But my opponents were well, too. Yeah, so. but <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> so, uh, Rook G eight is uh, is is the main move to just try to keep it solid. And it, it might be the only move that doesn't lose because it's a pretty sharp opening. So mm -hmm. you might have to do that. And now White played Knight H three. Uh, which is a pretty rare move here. Trying to get into G5, obviously, frankly. Trying to get into G5 because they don't have an H pawn, so this is an outpost for the knight. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really interesting positional opening because both sides have a lot of weaknesses in this opening, and, and so you can exploit your opponent's weakness, and then hopefully you don't get taken advantage of too bad in your own weaknesses. Right. Um, most people play either... I think maybe even e4 here. But I always was afraid of queen a4. You know, this is kind of a good move because it stops queen a5. This is a typical way for black to get get at these doubled pawns, is right. to play queen a5. It also stops d6 because that's illegal. Although I was looking at this with the computer just before the stream, and it was telling me that probably queen b6 is a good move, which I didn't really know about that. And people do play that after knight f3, knight e4. Computer didn't even hate black's position here, which is like kind of surprising because mm -hmm. it's a pretty risky opening. Thank you, Liv um, Livia Horvath. Nice. <laughs> for Thanks that for the sub. sub. Thank you so much. I'm behind on making my emotes, but soon, soon. <laughs> There's one emote. Um, so I'm curious as to, at this position, just what the, Mr. Engine says. It's it'll not say, that far It'll in. say it's about half a pawn up for white. Oh, it does? Yeah. Yeah, you have to give it a minute, though. It's a tough position oh, to understand. Okay. Somebody yeah. asked me why knight h3 and not knight f3. Well, we'll see in this variation you do play knight f3. And uh, one reason not to play knight f3 is because of the move f3. You want to potentially play f3 to stop this from being here. So let's see. This stockfish likes it a little bit more for white, about a pawn advantage. Mm -hmm. But I let it think longer than depth 25. Yeah. I was just curious. I got it to about, I don't know, maybe 33 or so. Mm -hmm. And it, it lowered it a bit. So you want some, we can play it out a bit. Knight g5. Mm -hmm. That might speed it up a little bit. Queen f6 is the only move, apparently. I don't even remember knight g5 being the move. Takes, takes. Aussie Kitty says, both sides have very suspicious development. Yeah, both sides have a bad structure and a bad development. So it's kind of a weird opening. Okay, it likes rook b1. Yeah, see, it's getting a little lower now once you play it out a bit. <laughs> it's only at 0.7. GM Benjamin Feingold says, losing is learning. <laughs> losing is learning. Showing off those chess coach net emotes. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, not so bad for black, really, even though it looks pretty bad. It looks kind of bad for both sides. But I think queen a4 is the best try for an advantage from this position. Knight h3. And so Hess does play queen a5, hitting the pawn. And so the main idea is to play after d6, knight d7, knight b6, and queen a6 targeting the c4 pawn right that's the main idea for for black in this opening and then if you collect that pawn you're going to be undermining the center as well and so white has to prevent that or get some counterplay against black's king usually black's castle and queen side as you might imagine and uh yeah it's a pretty sharp opening but if white can maintain the position white should be doing well because white has more space and the bishop pair but if black gets to put too much pressure on the queen side, then black's going to be better. So it's kind of tough to equalize in this opening. Usually one side's better or the other. But for the next five moves or so, white doesn't play very accurately. White's fide rating is uh, only about 2100, so he's about my strength. And uh, I wouldn't play this very well if I didn't know it. <laughs> That's for sure. He goes bishop d2. That's already a little bit too passive. Mm -hmm. Later in the game, he plays queen c2. That might be better to do right now. 
Oh, here's a little uh, Yay, soda delivery, you. huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks, sweetie. Yay. 600 is good. Yay, thanks so much. A, a 600 played this opening against me and crushed me in a brilliant positional game. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember from before. Mm -hmm. So, queen a So, bishop d2 is too passive. It's bishop d2 passive. d6. And Hess puts on a clinic. He wins this pretty quickly. Knight g5, that's a good move. So he played one good move there. Knight bd7, like we said. That was going to happen. And now he goes queen c2. Also, the computer didn't like this move. It is kind of weird to play both super passive moves like that. It wants f3 to stop the knight. Again, that, that was the reason earlier that he played knight h3. Mm -hmm. But he goes queen c2. And... Actually, yeah, even Hess plays a slight inaccuracy here. He goes for a knight e5, which uh, computer like knight b6 more. For example, uh, just the normal way to develop knight b6, e3, bishop d7. It says black has a pretty serious advantage here. And yeah, this is what black wants. Black is going to be able to castle. Doesn't have too many problems after castling. The king is <laughs> not in danger. You can't ever get at the black king. And your pawns are weak, so I can target the pawns like I normally do. So this would be kind of nice for black. Uh, he goes for knight e5, though, which is pretty similar. The problem is he can get kicked with f4 later, which is what white should have done but did doesn't do. Spoiler alert. Um, e3. e3 also might not be the best move. Uh, he should play queen b3, but it's kind of hard to play queen c2 and then queen b3. Mm -hmm. So why Hess didn't care about queen b3, obviously. The guy's last move was queen c2, so he's probably not going to play queen b3. But queen b3 does put a little pressure here and makes it a little bit more difficult for you to develop this guy, mm -hmm. at least. For example, I gave a variation, queen a6, to enable the development by protecting and attacking. Mm -hmm. Bishop f4, x-clam. Only move for white, actually. And the point is, if you take with the knight, you're going to get pinned after I push my e-pawn. And that's going to be pretty unpleasant. So, queen takes, then. But this will lose a pawn, but white will actually get some compensation. Takes, un undermining the knight, or the queen, rather. Removing the defender, so you got to trade him. And then d takes. Followed by e4. So, white's pretty active here. The knight on g5 is good. The rooks are great. The bishop on f1 is good, even. Everybody's doing great, and Black's pawn structure is really bad. Uh, even if he tries to take the e pawn, he'll, he'll then have tripled pawns, which would be kind of uh, kind of silly, if you ask me. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was, that was you answered my question. Right, and he'll still have an isolated. G he'll actually be up two pawns, but his pawn structure will be just a complete mm -hmm. joke then. Mm -hmm. So computer said this is about equal actually, and and that's pretty uh, that's pretty fortunate for White, you know, if he played this variation, considering he played some inaccuracies. But like I was saying earlier, uh, bit 95 was a little bit inaccurate, but Hess wasn't really imagining white to play queen b3, then bishop f4, after he played bishop d2, queen c2. Right, right. So that's kind of a weird defense, but it does mm -hmm. get the job done. Mm, so you might say anything. Yeah, the permit the permit uh, command doesn't work for some reason. I need to look into that. Right. Yeah. I guess it just doesn't ban you or something. <laughs> so knight b6 would have been more accurate. So 95... Still, black's at least equal, so you shouldn't be complaining too much. E3. Now he should be much better winning. Bishop D7. He plays queen B2, which is kind of a nonsense move, I guess. I don't really understand why he even played that. I guess he's tar trying to target this. He should always be playing F4 to protect his C pawn. Yeah, we're hung up over here. Do you think it's still it's still working? That thing. I mean, nobody's saying that. It's not. <laughs> so you can refresh it with that yeah. arrow, the That's circle true. arrow. I know how to do it. I have my way of doing it too. Okay, but why would you do two things instead of one? It doesn't make because sense. Because the other way is an automatic action for me, and so oh, okay. I just don't usually do it the other way, and so it's easier to do it if it's an automatic action. But we're gonna lose the chat if we refresh it. Dang. But um. We're going to have to do it, I guess. you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> the screen hung up for a second. Yeah, we're still here. Yeah, that's always happening on that screen. 
Yeah, I don't. Weird. I don't know if it's the signal or if it's just the Mac. Is... It's probably just aliens. <laughs> anyway. So you should always be playing f4 here to kick this knight away so you can protect his pawn. But he goes queen b2. Castles. Still f4 is the only move, although he's probably losing already. But he castles. And now he's in rough shape. Queen a6. Attacking the pawn. Mm -hmm. I guess there's only one way to defend it. Like this. But then he gets skewered. This happened to us today. Against Nuranonim. Mm -hmm. He skewered us just like this. I said uh, rook. <laughs> well, was, the white squares are a little weak there. <laughs> I know. It's... But I saw this cure coming. It didn't matter. We were losing anyway. Queen a3. Was that what he played? Yeah. And then uh, he took it. So now it's over. White's position's collapsing, and he doesn't have any compensation. And his white squares are too weak to handle. This move... Is that what he played? What was that about? I mean, it's Rook's attack, I guess, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knight takes... Rook h6. He goes here just to protect his bishop so he can move his queen. After this random move, <laughs> he plays here a threatening mate, which is more or less unstoppable, because if you go here, we'll play knight c4. Oh, yeah. So I like how his other knight got to b6. No, no, this was the same knight. I, got, I thought it was like that. Wait, maybe it was. Which knight was it? Hard to remember. Yeah, it was that knight. Yeah, because he used this knight to take c4. Mm -hmm. So then this other knight got to b6. Nice. That's where it belongs. And so white resigned. You can't really stop mate. He only moves queen b2, but knight c4 is too strong. <clears throat> yeah. And then d2 is hanging. R.I.P. <laughs> So what are people doing? <laughs> They're not saying much. They're just enjoying the ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, a quick win, just 21 moves. Um, obviously, Hess is uh, about 500 points higher rated than his opponent. Mm. So that helped him out. But it just shows you how dangerous this opening can be if you don't know how to handle it with white. Your whole position can fall apart. Hey, two bishops, Vatels. Total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> enjoying the ride and the view um yeah i had not heard of the jinji indian either but i've heard of jinji um harshvili if i said that correctly <laughs> but i never knew it started with a d <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely an interesting spelling yeah you you've seen um, john bartholomew play at ivy star oh thanks sinful dwarf Loves my hair. The Admiring Spencer, <laughs> yeah. Um, you always get compliments when it's poo. That's true. You're right. <laughs> I'm willing to admit I was wrong about Thank that. Thank you. I'll stop lording it over you. I'm always hair. like, I told you so. All right. No, he wouldn't listen to me at first, but okay, now we got um, people backing me up. We just all want you to look your best. That's true. <laughs> I want that as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. You missed the first ten moves, says Three Eyed Crow. It did yeah, it was kind of crazy. Um, a little bit ugly opening, I would say. <laughs> definitely. It's definitely. ugly. Yeah, it was ugly. Um Oh, he's from Georgia. I didn't know he was from the other Georgia. Right. Um Former Soviet Georgia. And Kiff likes your um Sicilian video. Nice. Thanks, Kiff. Yay, Kif. yeah, we've got more coming. Yeah. <laughs> a certain grob feel. That's what mamas are for, says Pam. I'm not sure what that's in. Is this a new mean. opening or is it an old opening? Hmm. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that, you know, you probably won't find many games in the 80s or earlier. So... Probably in the 90s, there will be more games than 2000s, early 2000s. But there are some top players who have played this, usually against weaker opposition, because they want to win. Like Nakamura's played it. 
Uh, even I found a game from Wojtacek, and Wojtacek's like the most solid opening player ever, <laughs> really. But mm -hmm. he did play this with black once, and he beat some random guys, like 2100 or something, mm -hmm. 2200 maybe. That's kind of... I've never heard of him. Yeah. What's well, it's cool to know about it, but like you're saying, it would be hard to get someone to have to cooperate because it's so unusual. Yeah, exactly. I mean, white has to uh, obviously play d4, c4, but also knight c3 is a key move. And even here, I've had people not play d5. Like, they'll play e3 or something, but I'm not too concerned about that. But anybody who plays like a Sicilian is, is used to that because you could play anti-Sicilians as white and mm -hmm. avoid like a, an open, you know, like a knight orf or a dragon or whatever. All right, real quick, I'm going to just check here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Uh, I am Rosen just did it. Hmm. I believe that. Mm. He just played what well, he just played that opening. I suppose that's what they meant. Yes. Well that's cool. Do you have another game? Yeah, yeah, I've got two games. I had one where white won as well. This is a game uh Crush against Victoria Neve. Mm -hmm. So this this will be uh, the ladies soon to be partners in the in the Olympiad, right? Oh really? No, I was kidding. Oh. the lady who should be in the Olympiad. Oh, I yeah, forgot yeah. her name. Hafu. Hafu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crush and uh, and Victoria Ni. This was probably a, a women's U.S. championship game, I believe. Mm. How do you spell that last name? N I. O N I. Yeah. I, just, I don't know that player. Yeah, U.S. Women's Championship 2015. Mm. Victoria Nee is married to Yuri Shulman. Yuri oh, okay, Shulman's cool. wife. Yeah. yeah, we were just talking about Shulman. Yeah, he likes day. to play the French. Yes. Yeah, yeah Ozzy Kitty, um, well, the, my reference there was I was watching Pog Chimps earlier, and uh, Hafu's doing great. But I did feel like the commentators were, you know, overstating things. <laughs> yes. They were saying Hafu, oh, Hafu's going to, you know, she could be on the um, Olympiad and talking about the brilliant. Um, she, <laughs> she did crush it, but, you know, let's, let's, you know, she's not quite ready for the Olympiad. But I want her to win it. She's my favorite. I just felt like the commentators we're going we're lying <laughs> we're straight up lying well i love all the commentators let me be very clear i just <laughs> feel like they're going overboard with trying to be positive you know definitely uh it's, you don't have to um go that overboard to be positive because i do think um you know hafu's done great for such a short time yeah the overhype is kind of i was laughing i'm like really <laughs> i like watching the pog champs I must admit, trying not to learn, but I, I had it on while I was cooking dinner, so I wasn't glued to it, sort of listening, watching. But anyway, on to our game. All right, so Crush actually starts out with 1c4, but they transpose. She plays knight c3. Yeah, like when I had white uh, against, for example, we looked at the game I played uh, Martha Fierro, I like to play e4. Why not just put my pawns in the center? Right. And it also avoids the Jinji Indian. Not that it's something you really need to avoid. I don't really know why you would play knight c3 as opposed to any other move. Like, what variation of the modern do you want knight c3, but you won't play e4? That's what I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know why people do play knight c3 here, personally. But... And not that it's a bad move, but when you but you were white, right? When yeah, I played e4. You can't play the Jinji Indian now. Oh, I'm saying, but when you had your game with this opening, mm -hmm. were you black? I wasn't sure about it. Against Martha, I played e4. No, I thought you had played the Jinji. Oh yeah, against Caleb Denby. Right. Yeah, he played knight c3. Oh, you were black. Yeah, okay. I had black. Right. Yeah, I agree. I've never agree. had the Jinji Indian with white. Oh, okay. Not even in Blitz or for fun or anything. Mm -hmm. I've always had, uh, I've always played E4 if I play this. If I've had this position, I've always played E4 here. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I, don't, I don't really know why people play Knight C3, but 
well, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Yay, thank you to Bishop's Vatel. One D4 players who insist on not transposing to an E4 opening. This is not an E4 opening. <laughs> this is most likely going to be a uh, a King's Indian defense. Or, you know, when you play D4, C4, it's, it's not an E4 opening. Like, put this pawn back and play Knight C3, then it's an E4 opening. Like a modern or, or a Peartz, perhaps, by transposition. But... Yeah, I mean, if you play knight c3, let's say I just play d6 and knight f6 and castle. What are you going to do that's not e4? You know, what are you going to do that's not e4? Are you going to fianchetto your bishop? Then fine, why aren't you playing it here? Like, why aren't you doing that then? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what the benefit of playing knight c3 here is. I'm not saying it's not obviously not a bad move. It's fine to develop your yeah. knight there, but I just don't know why. Uh, I guess the one benefit what they're avoiding. is it's unusual. It might throw somebody off, maybe if they don't know that. Well, it's pretty normal. Well, normal. it seems weird though. To put your knight here. For that to be the next move, but you're saying you don't see a benefit. I'm, right, that's I'm why I'm agreeing. I, yeah. In my view, it would be unusual. I'd be like, hmm, that would take me a minute. I'd be looking at it. I mean, I don't see any other benefit either. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe, I think that you know, there's some variation they're avoiding with e4 that knight c3 does not avoid. I mean, the knight c3 does avoid, rather. So you think if they move there, yeah. they're trying to... Uh, yeah, avoid, avoid some open, some uh, particular variation. I just can't figure out. I never could figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like here in knight c6 or something. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's e4, knight, c6. I wouldn't really care about that. But that's just me. This guy says uh, I look like a stoner. Oh, but they, they timed him out. <laughs> Who said that? Some guy. I forget. They already deleted his messages. Aw. Tough but fair. Mm-hmm. Well, he could maybe come back, come on back in. That's not the worst comment. Yeah. You know, uh, people have said worse things to yeah, me. Yeah, you than know, that. you might look like you, especially with the hair. Come on. You know, it's probably a fair a fair uh, comment. <laughs> <laughs> but fair is foul. <laughs> All right, so here, Crush played. You know, I didn't really know about this before I looked up this game, but I think that it's probably the best way for White to play. And so she had some really good preparation here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh. She played f3. Can't wait for the never play f3s in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, she goes for f3. The idea is pretty obvious to play e4 anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously, it's not like a developing move, but both sides aren't really developing right now. They're not concerned about that, right? They're uh, worried about long-term positional stuff first. And so plays f3. And also, Nee seems to be well prepared here because she played the computer recommendation e5. Nice move. e5. Mm -hmm. Still, it's always like they know what they're doing here. Knight h6, knight h3 rather. Knight h3 is uh, also the computer recommendation. And it has a couple of points. One is potentially to play knight g5, like if you play d6. I might hop up in there before you know it. You know, mm -hmm. next thing you know, it's knight e6 town. You're like, uh-oh, might have to give away my other bishop. Don't really want to give away your white square bishop because you're putting all your pawns on dark squares. But, well, maybe black could do that. But knee actually plays a novelty here, at least according to my database on chess base. She played h6. Which computer likes that move too. So I wouldn't be surprised if she even had this prepared. But pretty good prep. I mean, it's only move seven, so you can prepare seven moves even in a very weird opening. But still pretty good prep, I, I would say. Again, the best move here by Crush, g3. Yeah. g3 surprised me as well. She wants to obviously potentially play bishop g2, although I don't think she actually does that. Hmm. And it also stops f4. I mean, just take it. Wow, this is such a strange... I mean, nobody's developing their pieces. No. <laughs> well, it's a closed center. Yeah. Right? So they're going to take their time. And because one side's not developing their pieces, it's enabling yeah, the other side right. not to. They don't have like to Like if Black was it. getting all the pieces out, mm -hmm. you know, I don't even know how you'd do it. <laughs> I guess you'd go here like normal, right? Queen A5. Yeah. Then White would have to be defending the queen side and whatnot. 
So that they're both allowing the other player to not have to develop so much. Right, yeah. That's a good point to remember, too. D6. Still not developing too much. Knight F2. Who needs to develop pieces, right? Mm -hmm. You're fine, intelligent. <laughs> right, you did say no offense. That's true. <laughs> it's no worries. You know, your, your comment was um, a valid... Um, idea e4 so she finally plays e4 takes and f takes and now yeah it's kind of tough for me to find a move for for wiki here that's her nickname wiki because uh queen a5 is what you want to play right mm -hmm. that's like what we talked about she didn't do this because queen f3 is pretty irritating. It protects the pawn and attacks this oh, yeah. at the same time. In fact, the computer recommends to go back here. Mm -hmm. You'd like to play rook f8, but the h pawn is hanging. So it's not really acceptable. If rook f8, h pawn's hanging. So she didn't play queen a5. Instead, she went for queen e7. Just not a very active square. And this is the problem with her middle game play this game, is that she didn't have a lot of activity. She didn't have a lot of that dynamic play. And like I mentioned earlier, if white can keep control of the situation, it's going to be good for white. It's a lot of space, and it's two bishops, what else? So this is going to be good for white if nothing happens. Again, I couldn't really improve on her move, though. Crush plays it very well the next few moves. She only actually made one bad move, did Crush, this whole game. And it's pretty sharp, so good on her for that. She played A4. I'm not a grandmaster. I'm a national master. Not as grand. Good how black traded off her bad bishop. Yeah, that, that's kind of one of the points of this opening, right? She takes here, puts all the pawns on dark squares. Much like a Nimzo Indian, you see that a lot mm -hmm. as well. It is a lot. It's similar to the check Benoni, but here Black at least trades off a set of pieces, but is down the bishop pair. And but yeah, the structure in the center is is reminiscent of the check Benoni. Though I don't think he'd like to have these pawns on h6 and g6 at this point. I'd rather them both be back there, really. So you felt like a4 was um, good or bad? Great move. Oh, good. Best move. move. Okay. Definitely best move. Gaining space mm -hmm. on the queen side. And also targeting this pawn, actually. So when you play a5, which she does do next move, we'll, we'll just play it out, knight a6, a5, she's going to put pressure on the b pawn by putting her rook here. And either you're going to have to defend it passively, like how she kind of is now, so you can't develop your bishop, or you'll play b6, which will get rid of that a pawn. Mm -hmm. And then you'll still have a backwards pawn on b6. So this is a really good positional idea. You see this a lot in, uh, in, in a Nimso Indian as well. This is a common Nimso Indian idea. In fact, I remember a game, Golko beat Sarawan, and uh, it was a, a Nimso Indian where Golko played g3 on move, like, early, like on move four, I think, even. Mm -hmm. He played g3 on move four, which is a pretty rare move. And Golko did this exact same idea. He played a4, a5, really good positional idea. Static. There's some static. Is hmm. that true? Hmm. What happened? It was normal before. I don't know. Maybe try to, like, uh, unplug it or something. Sounds like tapping. Hmm. Well... Yeah, just unplug it. To, uh, is it still there? Right. We need some feedback. Oh, it's better. Solved. Well, that's so weird. Yeah, we I just don't... unplugged it and plugged it back in. <laughs> Classic oh, yeah. tech support. Oh, yeah, my mobile phone is right next to the mic. Oh. Would that interfere? Hmm. Let me move it. Let's try it again. Okay. Hello. Well, okay, you say it's fixed, but then it might come back. Baby, come back. 
Okay. Hey, that that does deserve a sub. But um, all right, hopefully it stays. It stays good. <laughs> all right, was that the solution? Nice. Okay. The oh. Phone. All right. Awesome. Wow. Interesting. Usually you do have your phone next to the mic, so that's kind of um, weird. Well, Maybe no. not right no, next I to it. No, I always have it back there, actually. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Okay, well, thank you, Intelligent. <laughs> nice. That it makes was, up for his yeah, it was my doobie phone. comment early. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, well... All right. If somebody wants to, it would be nice if they gave Intelligent a sub. <laughs> but um, if nobody wants to, I can do it, you know, in a moment after we go A moment this game. like this. <laughs> so she goes for King F7. Not a bad move. Bishop E2. And King G7. She didn't really want a castle because then she'd lose that pawn. Oh, yeah. But her king is still pretty safe here, and it's protecting the pawn, so it's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Bishop e3. Now, the computer didn't really like her next move, although I think her position is actually pretty tough. She played bishop d7. Normal looking move. Computer prefers rook f8. But the problem with bishop d7 is that this pawn is still going to be pretty weak, like, like we said earlier when Crush was playing a4, a5. Mm hmm. And so uh, she takes advantage of this by playing rook b1. She didn't care about that. She just goes bishop e8 to defend it. A little discovered defense. And queen d2. So yeah, this is like not, this is exactly what you don't want with black. White's just got a solid setup. And uh, oh, it Aww. was a gift sub, huh? Thank you, two nice. bishops. Two bishops what else? Yay, thank you so much. Nice. <laughs> Well deserved for solving our problem, and uh, and making us laugh a little bit about the doobies. <laughs> so she goes for rook b8, but yeah, White's got a really solid setup here, you know, and she's not losing all her pawns like Hess's opponent. Remember, Hess took all those pawns and then yeah, he yeah. resigned pretty quickly thereafter. Mm -hmm. So this is tough for Black. You don't want this situation. You have to sort of avoid this, and then she starts to play on both sides of the board. Like Karpov, really. A nice game by Crush so far. And she only made, like I said, only made one mistake. Oh, we got somebody hosting us. Big Z. Yay. Nice. Thank you, ZZ Big Z. H4. Put it in H. And Knight F8. So yeah, what, black is really passive and white has a lot of space. And white's structural disadvantage is not playing a part in the game at all. Nobody cares about that right now. Mm -hmm. King f1, so nobody castled this game. Rook c8, because that's a legal move. I mean, that's the only reason that she played it. Because so what are you going to do? Well, she got on the seventh rank, I guess, but okay. Improving the position a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, now it gets a little tricky here. Rook f1, rook hf1. So she's allowing this capture, but then she'll go rook h1 and win the h-pawn, win black's h-pawn, so he can't oh, take yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that would be scary. So knight b8, that's exactly the maneuver you love to see. <laughs> Just kidding. But at least now her rook's defending the pawn, so she can try to bring the knight in here. Mm -hmm. And now this is a great maneuver by by crush the best move computer recommended move and it's not easy to see or understand it was a really nice maneuver maybe you can find it actually okay white to play try to make a maneuver a maneuver yeah <laughs> all right hey p p r t s one <laughs> come on get some uh get some vowels in your name buddy i'd like to buy a vowel Oh, yeah, kangaroos got it. Really smart stuff there. A maneuver. Yeah. Hmm. Not to be confused with manure, which is what black's position looks like. <laughs> if I was black, I'd claim a draw by stalemate. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of like that. Hmm. 
down. Well, thank you for enjoying it, Pam. That's why we uh that's why we stream for viewers like you. you Yay. Got, you guys watch uh, Portlandia? There's a funny skit in Portlandia where uh, there's a guy, his name is Fewers. That's his first name. Yeah. Like F J like Fewers, you know. And then his last name is Like You. What? Like You. Like You? Yeah, so his name is Fewers Like You. Oh. And then, so that's why like <laughs> everything on PBS is because of Fewers Like You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what show was that? Portlandia. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, great show. Yeah. Great show. It's uh it's um Fred Armisen. Mhm. Mm and uh, it also has the same producer as one of my other favorite shows, Tim and Eric. Hmm. Yeah, Tim and Eric, uh, that's the same producer. I'm not sure about maneuvering. Um, to be honest. Yeah, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. Really good, really good show. My nephew was an extra on an episode. I believe it. Yeah, they like to. Uh, they'd like. Th they did a lot of casting on like Craigslist, for, apparently. I mean, couldn't you move the G pawn, and then you can make room for your bishop and knight and rook to come in? I'm trying to get in on on G four. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So it's typically a, a maneuver is when you just move one piece multiple times. Oh, oh like a reroute. Yeah. Oh. At least that's what I uh that's what that's how I always put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that would take more than one piece. <laughs> but still an interesting idea. Probably if G5, I would guess she'd play H5 to control G4. Just a guess cuz it's kind of hard to know for sure what black would do mm -hmm. in any given position. Yeah, that's true. Um that's true to Bishops Vatels, but sometimes my dad he gives some uh, some streams where he's talking about famous games or or stuff like that too. I just don't see where to go. Well, I'll show you what she did. This is a maneuver mm -hmm. that uh, Nimzovich famously employed in one of his games. I mean, because the knight seems like it needs to go. Yeah, the else. knight is what needs to be improved. But uh, knight h1. That's what she did. Oh, okay. Knight h1. She wants to yeah. go knight g3. Then she'll play h, put it in h. Mm -hmm. Then when you deal with that by pushing or taking or whatever, it's knife f5. Mm -hmm. Oh so, yeah. So I she'll put it that. in h and knife f5. Mm -hmm. Two of the emotes on my dad's channel. <laughs> Really nice. Now the problem with this move, if you can call it a problem, is that her H pawn is now hanging and you can't play rook H1. So she took the H pawn. Mm -hmm. And Crush saw this, of course, it's not too hard to see. And she's like, whatever, I'll just go here and then I'll go here next. What are you going to do about that? And there's not much black can do about that. So it was a really nice pawn sacrifice. She's actually probably just going to win back the pawn. Mm -hmm. And she didn't really care about about uh, temporarily losing it. And right. she's actually going to take over the H-file and, and it's going to help her win because of that. Yeah. Queen D8. Rook H1. King G8. So now it looks like Black's playing a 960 game, I guess. And Bishop takes H6. So wins back the pawn, like we said, and Black's position is... Unenviable. Mm -hmm. Rook H H seven, doubling up on her own seventh rank. Smart. And uh, now this is the only bad move that Crush <clears throat> played in the game. She went for uh, G five, which is sort of a solid positional move. Um, it does have some downsides, like it restricts her own bishop, obviously. Mm -hmm. Frankly. And also, she can basically win material by force here with the help of some tactics, although it's uh, it's a little bit subtle. Um, she should go for this one, threatening there. Mm -hmm. 
And probably she wasn't going to play this because of this move. And then there's a nice symmetry going on here, I guess. But white does actually win here. Always play bishop f8. And you'll see that there's kind of a problem with recapturing. You take with the rook, I could play, for example, rook takes rook check. You'll take back with the king, and then you drop the rook. Mm -hmm. Take back with the king, I could just take this rook because your rook's pinned. You can't take back. It's pinned on the f file. Mm -hmm. So either way, you'd lose the rook. So you're going to have to try to trade off one of the rooks first in this variation as black. Um, if you trade here, I'm going to get the h file and crush you. So it's smarter to try to trade here. Like, this is the variation I gave. Oh, no, no, I didn't give this variation. No, because this doesn't make sense, because I'll just play rook takes and defend my bishop, right? Yeah, that's the problem with this one. So here, this is the only try, but this, you like I said, you will get crushed on the h file. For example, takes, king takes, and if rook takes, it was uh, queen h6, threatening mate which is pretty tough to stop. If you use your queen to stop, I can check you and then bring my rook to h7, which might be mate or win the queen. Either way, it's devastation. Mm -hmm. So king takes to try to run away, but this will lose too, for example. This is probably the variation that Crush didn't see the win, though. Check here, queen h6, king d7, trying to run away, I guess. And uh, now you can't take the pawn because then you, you get tricked. Oh, yeah. Although it's still unclear if that's even good for black. But anyways, this move's crushing. Knife f5. Knife f5 in the chat. And then if takes, queen e6 check wins this bishop. And uh, the attack rages on. And it wins a queen even because you can't move your queen. You'll get mated on c8. What's nice is your king can't run away here because of the pawn. <laughs> 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 Who would have thought? The lowly pawn just standing here, <laughs> minding his own business, unassumingly, mating the king. So this is... Uh, yeah, he wasn't so useless after all. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't look an isolated pawn in the mouth or something. So this move is crushing. There's no defense, as it turns out. But... Uh, she probably thought that this could hold, is what I'm guessing. Oh, Cy Yay. Bradbury. Nice. Yay, thank you, Cy Bradbury. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the compliment. Great tourney yesterday. Must have at least one good fine gold as a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so this move uh, wins, but she played here. She's actually not winning anymore. Yeah, chess is pretty tough. She played a, a brilliant game so far. Mm -hmm. Really nice maneuver. Winning on both sides of the board, two bishops about Dallas, but then mm -hmm. one bad move and she's no longer winning. But uh, it's still like very tough for Black. Yeah. So she has obviously a lot of practical chances to win. Still rook c f seven. Bishop f eight. But now, Wiki throws it away and is losing again. She has to trade the rooks. First of all, she probably didn't want to give up the h file. I'm guessing. And then after, uh, which way is she going to take back here? Rook takes, rook takes. F8? Yeah. The, so here's the problem with G5. She can't get her queen in here like we were doing in the other yeah, variation. Yeah, that's what I thought all along, too. Is yeah. That seemed bad because it blocked the queen. Exactly, exactly right. And that's why G5 was not winning. So she can still improve like this is probably what she would have done. Right, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. And white is... Uh, doing pretty well here. Although after rook f4, I think the computer said it was equal. Rook f4 is actually pretty nice. It makes a threat for the first time in the whole game. <laughs> like, when was the last time black made a threat? Crazy. Yeah, let's see. I think the computer said it was equal. Yeah, look at that. Zero, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. Crazy, after all that, to actually be equal. But it shows you the resourcefulness of this opening and of, in, of chess in general, I guess. You might have some answers. But she goes for this. This is actually going to lose, as we'll see. So that was a blunder. Takes. Takes. Yeah, her king is not well placed here. 
it's going to be a an f file situation and she's going to try to play bishop e6 so you can't play rook f7 and uh it's tough mm -hmm. yeah in fact uh the best move is to take the pawn but after bishop e6 it says white was winning because you stopped rook f7 so we can win on the f file still it would be a gradual win because it's not an immediate mating attack but if i get to win the f file you're going to be in rough shape mm -hmm. instead she played uh kind of a bad defense rook h4 which uh isn't very smart because it's losing the b pawn for example queen f2 check now what are you going to do right if you go king here this check looks pretty tough if you go here, uh, rook takes a threatening mate, so you don't have time to take my bishop. So she played here, allowing rook takes to be check. Now it's already obviously busted, mm -hmm. I would say. Knight d7. Now there are a lot of winning moves here, but uh, Crush played like kind of stylish. I like it. Queen f6. And resigns. Queen f6 is a fork. It forks the king and the queen. It's also taking advantage of the pin, in case you're wondering in the chat about knight takes queen. So you'd have to take. It would be the only move to play with a straight face. But after we take and say check, we're going to pick up this knight at the end, and it'll be an extra piece. And then I'll take all your pawns and I'll queen. So it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So after queen f6 resigns. For the record, there are a ton mm -hmm. of winning moves here. This wins, for example. For the same reason, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice, though. Yeah, definitely. It was a good game by Crush. I mean, like I said, she only played one bad move. And uh, the understanding in the earlier part of the middle game was, was pretty nice. And mm -hmm. obviously, her opening preparation was amazing yeah. to prepare so unusual of an idea. And it was very strong against a, a weird opening. You know, I'd never seen anybody play with f3, then knight h3, and then g3. But the computer liked it all and just gave white a big advantage the whole time. Mm -hmm. And here I don't even know what black should do. You know, queen e7 didn't seem to give her a playable position, but I don't really know what does. So, yeah, maybe she has to play differently. Maybe h6 isn't best. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. Maybe d6 isn't best, but it seems pretty normal. Maybe even something like knight f6, but a no, computer kind of liked all those moves. It just said white was doing well. Yeah, she crushed her opponent. I bet <laughs> that nobody's ever made that joke before. <laughs> Why not knight f5 check and win the rook? Hmm. Do you mean like here? Because there's a pawn there. So that would be why not. Unless you mean in a different position. But there's always a pawn there, so. Yeah. That's why. Unless there's a trick that I don't see that you're trying to tell me about. Yeah, it was good strategic play by White. She was winning on the queen side here, pushing the A pawn and targeting the B pawn. Then she gained space on the king side. And then she played knight h1 to g3, which was really nice. Knight h1 to g3 was the, the star maneuver of the game, I would say. Mm -hmm. Karen was playing so fast yesterday. That's true. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I was just... Yeah, definitely. I felt... Um, I was really focused. Inspired. I was moving <laughs> fast. I was trying to move fast. <laughs> and then one of my games uh, that I lost, I was in the kitchen eating. <laughs> and then I got to the board. I'm like, oh, crap. I lost like three minutes. But uh, every every other game, I played fast pretty well. <laughs> Well, you still have some time to play uh, some viewers. Yeah, definitely. Viewers like you. Yay. Thank you, Drew. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can play somebody. Let's see. We could do, I could play, um, I think we'll stream for about another 15 or 20 minutes. Could go a little bit longer. Spencer's going to leave um, in 15 minutes. That's um, true. So it might be that I continue a little bit past um, when he leaves. But, getting some challenges rolling in. Yeah, so let's see what they're doing. Yeah, five minutes good, five minute or three minute. Um, un unrated or rated, I don't really care. So let's go. Go oh, against two bishops of Vatels. Two bishops of Vatels. 
Mm. Oh, Fortuna. <laughs> Who would have thought it would be the French defense? Mm -hmm. Probably nobody. Mm. Nice. I've never seen you do that. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but it's the right thing to do mm. in this in this uh, move order. Yeah, because I don't like the um, when they get a lock with the pawns at all. Let's see. Yeah. What do I do? <laughs> Your position's too good. It's like, what do I do? Spencer, you have to teach Karen some one F four. That opening's for the birds. Some what? Oh. The birds. The bird. <laughs> but yeah, it is greater than or equal to the word. Mm -hmm. I've never played um, the bird. I've played it by transposition. I usually play uh, one b3 and then I'll play f4 later. I think bullet is like the worst time to play one f4. Really, because uh, your king is so mm -hmm. weak. And all these weird gambits are like more powerful in bullet. Like if they play f4, e5, takes, d6, and stuff like that. That's not really that great of a way for black to play, but in, in bullet chess, it's more difficult to defend as, as white there. Oh, trying not to learn is uh, begging for a game. He's begging for help. He's screaming for help. Mm -hmm. Please play him some chess. In the <clears> early <throat> days of YouTube, GM Heinrich Danielson won F4 polar bear <clears> system. <throat> Isn't a polar bear like the uh, the Leningrad, but with a with colors reversed? Yes, says Ivy. I knew it. Yeah, one time I saw it on our uh, U.S. Chess League team. Nakamura was our board one. You'd think that our team would do well with Nakamura on board one, but he didn't play very well. And he did play the polar bear system against, like, I believe it was Malik Kachian. And then they drew. You can't even win with white against Malik. Come on. <laughs> no offense to Malik, but you know, he's no Naka. Let's get real. Should win with white. I learned a new opening today, the polar bear system. Yeah. <clears throat> All these openings are a footnote to the Jerome Gambit. <laughs> I don't really know what the Jerome Gambit is, but, uh, oh, it's Mark in the chat saying that. Hey, Mark. People tend to blunder a lot more against F4. I believe it. I mean, they can't really rely on much opening theory. So you're more likely to blunder then. That's one reason to play the Gingy Indian, in case you need a reason to play a very strange opening. But I don't think uh, Gingy, Indian, Gingy uh, Indian loses by force. Tried to move in illegally. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> you should have said check. <laughs> mm. Getting rough, I tells you. That's not so good. <laughs> Let's see about it. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, bishop f7. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've I faced that. There's a a guy in uh. There's a guy in um. In St. Louis who plays that all the time. But you could just play a, a a timely d6. Like after knight takes e5, knight takes e5, the white will play d4. And I think you could just play d6 there if I'm not mistaken. But it might be a different position. Oh, look at this great defense. This is like watching the 85 bears. The bears. <clears throat> 85 bears. 
the years. Yeah. The year 1985, when the Bears played sports ball of some kind. Yeah, just a second. Karen challenging, challen, channeling her inner Mike Singletary. <laughs> Is Knight F6 Scandy losing by force? I would have to imagine not. You mean E4, D5, E takes D, followed by Knight F6 immediately? I shouldn't be losing. When the Bears went undefeated, they they didn't go undefeated though, right? They they lost one game, I believe, in '85 in the regular season. Not that I know anything about sports, but I believe that they did lose one game. <clears throat> this is not good. <laughs> You're only down a rook. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah. Don't let this distract you from the fact that I have to read this whole paragraph. Jeez. Scored four touchdowns and then Polk High School. Polk High School and Andrew Johnson High School. Every high school is named after a president, I guess. Go, Karen. Now you're winning almost <laughs> after all that. <laughs> yeah. They didn't go undefeated by virtue of the fact that they are not the 72 Dolphins. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I thought the 72 Dolphins were the only team to go undefeated what about in uh, American Dad where they swim with the dolphins and it's the it's the Miami Dolphins <laughs> too funny I love American Dad <laughs> dang Good game. Yeah. Really fought hard there to <laughs> save a ridiculous position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good game to, bish to Bishop's Vettel's. Did you want to um, analyze it? All right. Before you leave? Sure. Why not? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it was too slow. Much like my favorite kind of high five, a down low. <laughs> I always lose this. Oh, let me just glance here. So yeah, this move order is bad for white, as I've mentioned on this stream multiple times. Knight f3, e5, d4 is not good because after takes, white has to take back with a piece instead of a pawn. Mm -hmm. So this is a bad move order for white. Queen takes seems worse than knight takes, probably. Although a lot of times people just gambit a pawn, but it's also not good. So now you're better. This is probably okay. So whenever they do this, it's bad. And you could just take this pawn for free. Oh, free yeah. pawn. Well, I had to move. Um. Oh, I see. Yeah, because yeah, this is attacked. So they can't take, mm -hmm. or they can take, but you take this. This is a tactic you got to know about. I know. I just didn't see Knight it. takes pawn. I do know. That's pretty commonplace. Definitely. That happens all the time. I know. I mean, I do it sometimes. I just didn't see it. Even here, you might be able to do it all. It's a little riskier now that the rook's here. Mm -hmm. So knife f5. That was good. That's good. This is terrible. <laughs> terrible bishop. Come on, what are you doing over there? That move looks okay. Yeah, I don't know why you played here then there. And just do one of them. Don't do both. Yeah. Just castle or whatever. Maybe you're concerned about this move. If your bishop's on e7, you could play... Knight h4 mm -hmm. to answer that, so it's not a big deal. But either square is fine, just, just pick one of them. Yeah, I was worried about the knight. That's a dumb. 
Yeah, I mean, it's worse here because then after g4, you have to go back here. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go to h4 if I can because the bishop's there. So I thought bishop e7 is better for that reason. Yeah, then you, this is too passive, probably. Uh, what would I do? Well, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Um, F six is interesting. It might lose by force, but it's interesting. Unless it loses by force, <laughs> um, you know, because you're pinning here. I'm concerned yeah. about them taking this and then like pushing. Oh yeah. And then this. Yeah, I don't know if any of those moves are good, but <laughs> just something I was concerned about. That looks like it's okay for black. Got to worry about this though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe not F six then. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to play. I mean, you could just do like a normal maneuver like that. I, know, I think I might even just go back here. But okay, you played this. But yeah, that's too passive. I mean, I guess you're you're afraid that they'll take and push, which is fair. Yeah. But you gotta do I know it's passive. Else. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I can see. I can understand that. <laughs> now your dark squares are weak. Yeah. If you're gonna play g6, you should just play it here then. Play mm -hmm. g takes. Well, okay, you might not want to do that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of tough to play black here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like my position at all. Yeah. Now this is scary. Much like scary Terry. Mm-hmm. So, maybe you can defend like this here there and then this yeah i'm gonna play another one trying not to learn this also attacks f2 this looks like a reasonable defense queen c4 to h4 mm. but you played this move which didn't do too much now you're getting crushed you're getting arena crushed over here <laughs> took this seems like this move wins material because if you play knight takes, you lose your rook. Also, this move looks it's totally crushing, too. Yeah. But, okay, he played this. And then here. Mm -hmm. Then you defended it great. Great defense. The only reasonable defense. Now you should play knight f5 again for, like, the third time in the game. <laughs> Instead here, now you're losing everything. Now, I think there's got to be some sacrifice, right? Takes. This is just winning. Mm -hmm. This has been devastation. Ugh, I can't look at this. It's too disgusting. <laughs> this is like a PG stream. You can't look at that. And then he does it. Yeah, also good. This is why you were down a rook. I was kind of wondering what happened. Yeah. Good defense there. And there. Then he blundered that. Nice. <laughs> nice. He missed that, obviously. And then, but now you had too much time because you, or not enough time because you had to spend a lot of time defending that position. Mm -hmm. So tough stuff. But you fought back hard there, but it was too tough and you had to spend a lot of time. But basically, you wasted a lot of time playing like bishop e7 to c5. You put your knight here and then back and then here again. Yeah. And then it let your opponent build a big attack. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that, that was wasn't no really great. Maybe you could have not castled even. And just, uh, like attacked on the queen side or whatevs. Mm -hmm. Or even tried to play g5 like Petrosian. Yeah, it seems like in the French, I, I run into a lot of situations where I don't castle. Yeah, this might be one of those situations. Yeah. Also, I think I would probably prefer to play, like, well, okay, you already played bishop d7, yeah, so that makes sense. I was thinking I'd rather your bishop be here, but you already played it, so mm -hmm. that makes sense. But all right, yeah, maybe you can get in another game here. Yeah, I can play a couple. <clears throat> so you have to go, though. So That's true. Um, hey, El Coing. Um, I can still play a couple of games if people want to. Spencer has to head out, so, you know, won't be any um, analysis going on, really, because I'm not good enough to. I mean, we can talk about the game, you know, but um, that's about it. <laughs> So I'll play a couple more games. It might be that Ben shows up, and if he does, he can do some analysis. You almost have 100 viewers. Mm -hmm, that's awesome. Nine, it was 94. 
We <laughs> invite six of your friends to come watch. Come on, you guys. Yeah, I got um, I, maybe I got some of those picked up some of those Pog Champ viewers. <laughs> <laughs> right. We could start a poll. Could Karen win Pog Champ? <laughs> <laughs> How about could Karen be in the Olympiad? <laughs> 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 Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was absurd. <laughs> um, hey, Boognish84. <laughs> You'll make six yeah. accounts. Uh, of course, if Hafu can. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to play another game. And um, I guess I'll be hitting the old dusty trail. Yeah. Then, bye. Huh? Bye, everyone. See Take ya. it easy. I'll see you next time. Friday, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll see you Friday. Hey, there. I don't think there's any opportunity for karaoke. Yeah, not if Be it's indoors. Yeah, but maybe, I haven't checked their Facebook. Maybe they moved it back outside. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you later. Yes, we like to go to karaoke, but they were having it outside for a while, and I felt pretty safe there with regards to getting the COVID. Now they put it back inside and so I'm afraid to go to be honest um, don't want to get the COVID alright I'm going to play a game here we go <laughs> hope I do better black again So I hope everybody's have, had a good day today. Ben is going to stream from, I guess, not 9 to um, 11. But he might, he might start early. Can't ever tell. Let's see. Um... This one good here. Sorry, I can't talk very much while I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, I've struggled to make a move um, without talking. Let me see here. You're going to go to law school, Aussie Kitty? Yeah, it's hard to be a student right now, that's for sure. My oldest son is going to go to college next year, and it's hard to even really, I mean, you can't really go look at colleges. Let's see.
darn, it seems like I always have to make these weakening moves. All right, I'm going to do it. do that. Might suck the exchange on me. How many challenges? Um, let's see. I don't know right now. It looks like there are two more. I'm not sure what I should do. I don't really want to trade queens. Yeah, Spencer's right. I don't like to trade queens a lot. <laughs> I prefer not to. I will, though, if I have to. Let's be clear. This is not looking good. Let's see. <laughs> Darn, I'm about to get mated. Ah, oh, good game, Slagoon. I know I was too slow. Um, toilet break. <laughs> 
darn, I hate being so, so why am I so quiet? Well, I'm quiet because I'm not very good at chess and I have to focus a lot to think of a move that's, you know, and so I don't like to play music because we put our videos on YouTube. So if we play music, then I have to play the crap, you know, free music which I don't like. I love music and I'm very picky about my music. So we just have no, we have no music. <laughs> now usually if Spencer's here, then he can talk to you guys while I'm playing. I do talk sometimes while I'm playing and then, you know, I probably don't do any worse, but it feels like I do. <laughs> Premier Chess. Oh, hey, Premier Chess. Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't get to meet. Um, you're in New York, right? If you're the one I'm thinking about. I'm sorry we didn't get to see you in Rome. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, um, we, God, we loved Rome so much. It's so beautiful. And we, we didn't have a honeymoon when we got married, so that was our belated honeymoon. And um, so it was a great time. Um, yeah, I know. We can't go back to Italy right now. We went to, um, I guess there are a couple of chess clubs in Rome, and we went to one out in the Burbs, and um, it was fun. Ben played a simul there, and, um, but yeah, Rome was so, so nice. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten a little bit better about distractions when I play chess but at home I get so mad because the dogs are always fighting and they're really loud and annoying and I'm always screaming at the dogs get away from me <laughs> get away from me <laughs> so mad because they, they interfere you know at the most inopportune time um, I have two dogs I have a part pit um, bull probably lab mix and the other one looks like part hey I think Ben's here so maybe he can um I think I just heard him come in he can come analyze the game hello the other dog is part hound and part uh terrier I was just, we were just talking about Rome premier chess was there and I can tell you later who that is in case they don't want anybody to know and uh we we didn't get to meet up with him though he's from New York he was there when we were there? Yeah, he was there. We, we um, you probably don't remember. You'll remember when I tell you, though. Okay. <laughs> so here's Ben. Ben showed up. Yes, Ben's there Man, that's really bright. Which, what, the light? Like us, yeah. No, I mean, just looking at there. Well, the monitors. Right, that looks better. Yeah, I think it's just the monitors, no good. Yep. Um, well, probably can change the brightness. I think it does need to be changed. I'm not, not that it matters because we're at the end. Because when it gets dark outside, yeah, it actually we need less, less light for some reason. And I'm not sure why it works. I guess because we're not getting it all far. Okay. You accepted a job offer today. Good, <laughs> good. Yeah, that does look better. It was a little too bright. Hmm. Well, I can play somebody else, and then um. You can um, analyze. Do you mind analyzing? Okay, cool. They were complaining. We're well, not complaining. Just pointing pointing out how quiet I am. But, I mean, I can't barely make a move. <laughs> um, so that's what's going on. I'm focusing. All right. Trying not to learn. Here I come. <laughs> He's thinking a long time. Well, he may not have. Yeah, maybe he's getting food like I do. And <laughs> Where'd you go trying not to learn? He's trying not to play. All right, well, you can re-challenge me. Um, and I'm going to move on to the next one. And... If you get, if you want to challenge me, then um, hey, trying to learn, not to be confused with trying not to learn. I'm waiting on that link. If you get a chance, mm -hmm. <laughs> or what? Oh, I'll have to tell you about it later. 
He's going to send me a link. It's your move. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> then my phone, I discovered that my phone um, causes problems with the microphone. Mm. It was make, making a static sound. I never had it next to the microphone. I don't know why I did this time. But. Mm. I'm trying to learn, says he's canceling his challenge. And send you the link. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, he has to send the link. <laughs> I mean, you definitely don't have to do that. Let's see. Two bishops. I'm always quite, quite so. I can get it later. I just noticed that you didn't send it as well. Never seen Ben that quiet. <laughs> no, he said quiet. Wow. No, I think he meant quiet. <laughs> it's an interesting move. All right. I mean. It is. It, that means you don't like my move. I know I missed taking the piece, but mm -hmm. I didn't see it till it already gone. You don't have to make me feel bad. I didn't make you feel bad. Well, I was impressed. being sarcastic. No, it was good. You knew he'd leave it there because he didn't see it before. <laughs> That's a true story, too. If he's not going to move it when you attack, he's not going to move it when you don't attack it. People see things all the time when it's after they move. Like, oh, oh, first crap. of all, he has to earn his rating. <laughs> You, we European are not good at spelling. Yeah, also not good at, uh, you know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Never known him getting better. <laughs> and GM Bobby Fisher spelled Fisher right. That was good. GM Bobby Fisher said, who's better between Ben and Karen? <laughs> I've never beat Ben. Maybe we've never played, though, so he doesn't know. <laughs> I was at a chess camp, and I was a teacher, and the other teacher was estimated rating negative, but still better than the weak kids, although close. And somebody asked, <laughs> who's better, Ben or the other teacher? <laughs> the other teacher, I don't think, knew how to play. Still, it was close. Go, Karen. Had this on my chat. Queen C2. Where a spend fine nine lol. That sounds like some pog champs kind of person. Some issues. Do what now? Yeah, just reading the chat. Let's see. MJ, are you related to Ben? That's my brother. Karen from yesterday would destroy Ben. That's true. Uh, Israel, 2750 plus in the 70s, and you still haven't caught up to me. That is correct. However, I'm alive, so I got you on that. I'll still never forgive you for your game against my dad. to my grave in 2016. I don't know. You, oh, you're talking to Bobby Fisher. That makes more sense. Like, my grave? No.
What's my Discord link? I don't know. Go to my uh, go to my uh, Twitch page, and it's it'll be there. Discord panel, you can click. Good games, yeah, Zatsku. You, you, you played Bishop F1. That was good. <laughs> I won on time, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. I usually lose on time. <laughs> hey, Dragon Chess. Um, let's see. I can't see these when they're this color. Oh, it's Jen. Hey, Jen99. Where's where's Alaska buried, Mark? I didn't know you went to Alaska's grave. Steinitz and Lasker. <laughs> oh, now ask her what? You're still alive. Uh, I'm just scrolling up for a minute. All right. Oh, you're alive in the film. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to play another game. Oh, can you give us some little tips first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Steinitz is buried in a huge cemetery which borders Queens and Brooklyn. I didn't know that Lasker was buried in the U.S. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that yeah, wouldn't have been easy before the Internet. <clears throat> yeah, look at this mouse pad. Yeah, it was wasn't working correctly okay. on the table. <laughs> now here you should probably play either bishop here or c4. This one's a bit passive. And then your pawn, yeah, b6 isn't a good one. Th there's two reasons to play knight b4. One is to play bishop f5, which is not the reason here. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is to play c5. Okay. And your opponent chose neither, so. People a lot of times will yeah, play bishop f5. Knight, yeah. The rest of the game wasn't as interesting with you up a knight. Uh, it like you're winning. When then they got low in time. Yeah, I mean, you've won a knight and nothing happened, and you're up a knight. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, just routine. So there weren't any other big blunders? Yeah, nothing else happened that game. Okay. Probably if we do a report, you played in the 90s. I mean, it's going to be really mad at you didn't take that, but mm -hmm. that's about it. So let's do a report. report. I, want to see, I want to see if you played in the 90s. You might have. <laughs> I think the only move that you made wrong was not taking his knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you played 95. Yeah, that was missed win. Yeah, if you take the knight, you're winning. Then when you didn't take it, you weren't winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you made no blunders, no mistakes, no inaccuracies, which is, yeah, I don't agree with that. But all right. Yeah, so that was good. 95 is good. Mm -hmm. So you probably cheated. <laughs> but I guessed you played in the 90s. I was impressed. Yeah. Just like yesterday when you were, you know, you in the 6 out of 9. Oh, yeah. None of those games were in the 90s, yeah, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, those games were all pretty suspicious. Um, being open in early 2021 is possible. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how COVID goes. Hey, right. Jay Wolfent. Yeah, we don't really have an idea. And then, you know, when other places reopen and there's a there's a vaccine and, you know, the governor's... Uh, what's the word when you get rid of the governor? Not kill him, but the other word. Re <laughs> recall. If our governor's recalled and we put in a normal person <laughs> and then, like, there's a vaccine and if Biden's the president and the CDC is run normally, then we'll reopen. Yeah, all that stuff has to happen. But if Trump wins re-election and that idiot's still the governor and everybody's dying and there's no vaccine and there's nobody wears a mask, then we're not going to reopen. So that's, yeah, you agree with that, right? Uh, most of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully Trump's not going to win. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> It's, I mean, not even, it's It's more the governor's fault than Trump's fault. Yeah, even even the Trump administration was. Yeah, Trump, Trump's an idiot, but camp. this guy's like a super idiot. Yeah, the Trump administration was very yeah. unhappy with Kemp, actually. Well, he got mad at Kemp a long time ago when Trump wanted that idiot to be the senator and Kemp chose another idiot. 
Oh, yeah, I remember that. Thank right. you, Crocodile Stalin. And, and now these two idiots are running for Senate against each other, which is funny. The same two idiots. Oh. Yeah, wait. it's an idiot brigade. Can, can we have some names? Yeah, Kelly Loeffler. She's the criminal who made tens of millions based on going about COVID before anybody oh, else. Oh, yeah. And she's also racist and white supremacist. Okay, and then, I other, didn't and then the other that. guy's probably worse. <laughs> I don't know about all the that. The other guy's name is Collins. Yeah, he's a, his wife's a school teacher. Collins. Yeah, he's the worst. He was he was in the impeachment. I he remember said, him. He said, "I have the biggest Southern accent. I win." I didn't like him. Yeah. But um, you can feel. <laughs> yeah, those are like the two worst people I've ever heard of, and they're running against each other. I yeah. like your little pun there, Ivy Sar. I can feel it recalling in the air tonight. Um. Wow, I would swear Ben is describing Alabama. <laughs> That's right. What Mark said is correct. Somebody's supposed to speak at the RNC, but she said the Jews were conspiring against us, so they took her off. Wait, what? Yeah. When she started not, telling one, not one, of, Not one of the women that I mentioned, but another woman. <laughs> yeah, she said it's the Jews, and they said, well, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't have her speak at the convention. I saw something funny on Twitter today. The 17-year-old guy who drove from Illinois to Wisconsin and shot people, and he's been arrested. I didn't even hear about it. The 17-year-old? Yeah, yesterday, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear about yeah, it. I shot everybody, yeah. I didn't see in, the news In Kenosha, yeah. He, there was, yeah. Anyway. I know about the cop shooting right, yeah. the black man, but right. I don't know about the This was situation. This was a 17-year-old. He drove in, and he shot some protesters. They drove home, and then they arrested him. Oh, okay. He had, like, a rifle, too. Oh, I heard some the protesters The police were like, shot. good job. I didn't job. know they knew who did it. Yeah, yeah, oh, they've okay. they already been arrested. Oh, the police okay. were congratulating him and then giving him water, then he drove home, then they arrested him. Oh, yeah. dear. Anyway, I saw something funny on Twitter. They said that guy's going to speak at the 2024 Republican National Convention. No. Oh, they were yeah. just... Yeah, right, but that's... That's, that's a the, joke. Well, that's mm -hmm. who they get. They get people who bring their guns out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's let me not just as a European that his election seems unreal. It seems unreal here also. Yeah. All right, let's go trying to learn. That's good. Trying to learn was chatting, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, he knows what's up. See, look at him. Ah, he was ready. Darn. <laughs> I was reading the chat. Hooray. Yeah, the Yay. only thing like that's ever happened in human history that's stupider than electing Trump is Brexit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Botez. Must play topless. Oh, actually, pre-moved and didn't mean to. <laughs> well, he, this handle's different. That says Botez topless only fans. Oh yeah, you're right. It's got to be. It's got to be yeah. the same one. See, I just read your. If it's old a different one. one, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that is actually a better um, handle. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh. Yay. This must be the only channel on Twitch he's not banned from. Look, he's got Botez Topless so Weird Channel. So you get you get all the money. That's good. <laughs> well, I mean. He's changed his name. Is that both of you? But or, or do you have multiple accounts, or is this? <laughs> but Botez Topless is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, Botez Topless Weird Champ might be better. <laughs> Do you know the guy has an account in Spanish too for the Spanish chess channels? It's Botez Tapas. <laughs> Each account is run by a different person. If you can call them a person. <laughs> You're not banned from anything? 
I thought for sure that, um, people might not like the top, low test topless thing, but I guess they don't care. I shouldn't have gone there. Mm. Let's see. All right, let's see if the chat pays attention. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see who gets it first in the chat. Start typing. Get ready. Uh, which prime minister was at the closing ceremony of the Hastings tournament that I went to? Also, more than half of you haven't heard of the person. <laughs> Probably 95% of you haven't heard of him. <laughs> Hit the elders close. Even the British people haven't heard of him. They're like, what? <laughs> the answers are funny. Well, two people have said John Major, and it's still wrong. All right, we have five wrong answers. That's good. I guess it was a tough question. I should give them a hint, because it's too hard for them. Wow. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. It's the Prime Minister right before Thatcher. They're like, I'm looking on Google and I still can't find it. Botez topless weird champ looked it up and then wrote, ah, okay, duh. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that was your favorite prime minister, James Callahan. Right? I can't really talk at the moment. See that? There you go. God damn it! Trying to learn. Excuse Yay, my cursing. Uh, God, that really chats my rear end. <laughs> um, good game. Trying to learn. Try not to learn. I mean, trying to learn. <laughs> There's too many, let's, let's too many see. of you guys. God damn it. Botez, let's see. <laughs> yeah, here you shouldn't make all these trades because they're not helping. Queen B3 makes sense because you tech that. Okay. Then you're better. And then you should probably just move your bishop because he took with the knight, so he doesn't have a pawn in the center. Now he does. Okay. And then this. Yeah, B3 is not great, but it's not terrible. You could take on B7, I guess. Mm -hmm. Seems like you could. Yeah, you took a lot of stuff. That was good. Yeah, I just wondered. Yeah. And then, um, oh, 
Oh, wait, fudge, fudge. Yeah, so here you're f punting so king g2 is better. Mm -hmm. Here it's just playing fast. And then he... The fact that you lost your rook or took his rook doesn't matter. What matters is just moving instantly. Yeah. You shouldn't be upset about losing your rook. Yeah. I get rattled. Anyway, you did well. You, <laughs> you were equal, better, or winning for 95% of the mm -hmm. game. Good game trying to learn. <laughs> yeah. I got to prepare my lecture. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to end soon anyway. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to, um, before you stream? Because I need to g actually get home. I have to prepare my lecture, so I'm going to have to prepare. I okay. I guess 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Me? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I'll try to do it quick. Okay. So Ben is going to stream probably a little bit early. He's going to go prepare his lecture. So I can probably play one or two more games. <laughs> And then I have to get home. I have to um, look at college stuff with my son. So I don't know. It does not sound like a fun evening. I'd like to, and then I'll have to get on the stream too, of course. I don't know about picking colleges. I have to help him do it. Does anybody have any good advice? <laughs> um, it is a weird time because you can't actually go look. Um, is he targeting Avi's, and will he be studying mathematics? Didn't he get into MIT? Well, I mean, we're not targeting Avi's per se because we don't have a lot of money. Um, but he is really bright, and he has all A's. And um, he, he's taking the SAT soon, like in the next month. Um, so you have... And he's um, taking the SAT subjects, so but he, so he hasn't taken any of those, but um, he did make a 36. I got to brag for a moment, proud mom. He made a 36 on the ACT, which is perfect score, um, and uh, he didn't even study for that one. He wasn't even planning on taking it, so I was so you know that's pretty good. <laughs> um, so I I think, and he has a lot of math um, competition. Um, achievements but other than that he's very very light on the extracurriculars all of these schools I heard a noise thank you Botez Topless Weird Champ um, for the 250 cents it is but all of these schools they want you to be you know athletic and to do this and do that you know and my, um, my older son you know, really doesn't do a lot of extracurriculars other than the math tournaments so that probably will hurt him at some schools. He's going to get in a good school. I mean, most likely he's going to go to Georgia Tech, which is um, a very nice um, college that's local. But he is going to apply to MIT <laughs> and probably Brown. He's interested in Brown. And, um, you know, we're going to skip. Oh, and maybe University of Chicago, maybe. But we're going to skip, you know, Harvard and all those. And he's going to either study um, um, computer science or math or both. And so, yeah, if they can't give some money, you know, he's not going anywhere but Georgia Tech. <laughs> In Georgia, we have the um, Hope Scholarship, which is funded by the lottery. So it makes school a lot more affordable. But with all of these sin to do's, maybe I can send him to MIT if he gets in. <laughs> well, my, neither one of my children have a FIDE rating, but um, my stepson Spencer does have one, but I don't know what it is. Um, so can I get the next game? What's your name on there, Botez Topless Weird Champ? <laughs> I was just going in order. Um, let me go ahead and stop talking and play. Maybe I can talk and play. <laughs> it's hard for me to do that. Spencer's 2090 Fide. Um, my younger son, though, is. Um, he he's sixteen something right now for U.S. CF rating, but I don't believe he has a FIDE rating either. 
Your name is Botez Must Play Tapas. Man, you love Botez. <laughs> I assume which Botez? The older Botez? <laughs> uh, they are cute. I am not going to lie. I can certainly understand the love. Hey, Play Doh. Um. And definitely understand that love for sure. Oh, you mean Andrea? Mm -hmm. Andrea is so cute. I'm going to have to admit she is. But you know, they're both cute and smart and um, good at chess. So, what is not to love? Let's see. Hanging on my pieces here, probably. Because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> I think Ben just started streaming. So you guys don't leave me. Get a, Stick with me to the end of the game and then we're going to raid Ben. Let's see. I guess I'll do this. I need to go a little bit faster. Go here. you and here. Oh okay Jen nine no, nine. No. Yeah we would um oh Andre Botez is the dad <laughs> I thought you just spelled it wrong. I see now. That is kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me go over here. Yikes. Why well, didn't even see that? This is not good at all. Mm. What can I do? Yeah, well, at least I have the bishop I can block. Well, I was about to get mated. I couldn't figure out a way to do it. Darn, I'm sorry I'm playing so bad, guys. 
Thank you for the game, Neuronome. I know you guys don't mind. You like to beat up on me. <laughs> so it works out. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. And I do apologize, Botez, because you asked. But I promise that I don't even see you on here anyway. Did you send me a friend request? Why isn't that? Um, oh, I don't know why that's not working. Let me go. Anyway, um, we can play next time. I do apologize. I should get going. And I don't want you guys to miss Ben's lecture, which he'll be starting in a moment. I know he's waiting on me to rate him. And I have to go home and look for... F, okay, I'm going to look at that F4 move, Neuronotum. I have to go home and look, you know, as I was saying, um, do some college stuff. Yay. And then I'm going to get back on Ben's stream. So let me, Benjamin, you guys go over with the raid. Do not click off and go over there. Go over with my raid. <laughs> did I spell it right? I did. Okay, bye, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I know I did. I really enjoyed the streams. I hope you do too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.